Good morning, good afternoon, good evening across the country, around the world. Welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. We're obviously at the launch pad. We're about to launch another mission, a new mission, slash an old mission. Uh, we're going back to the moon, but we are going to stay there for a while. And yes, now we jump into a time lapse. Um, this launch looks a lot like one of the launches we just did, but because I added more rockets on the outside at the beginning there, it was a bit more stable, plus I was a bit more careful, etc., etc., um, yeah, so we're going to go to the moon and we're going to stay there for a while. We're not going to set up a base on the moon. There's not really that much benefit to the game and the gameplay and the way sciencing works to have a moon base, even though there are missions to do that, which is great for money, but for science and anything long-term, it's not really worth it. What we're going to do is send up kind of a tiny mini space station and a lander. You'll see them in a moment or two underneath the fairing. Uh, this is a good launch. It was perhaps a little shallower than I meant it to be, as you see with the uh, the flaming effects there. Uh, but we get up there, and to circularize, it only costs like 400. It was really easy. Um, okay, 643, I think is what it says. So there you see it, barely. It's a little quick, sorry. It's a little bit Apollo-looking in that we have a moon lander, a lunar lander, um, and then a, a command module with a service module behind it and a bunch of fuel behind it. Uh, I'm using the, obviously the lander can, the Mark 1 lander can on the lander, and then one of the modded uh, command modules that's got, an, it just looks meaner, it's like the one I used earlier, it just looks cooler. And then behind that we have a hitchhiker can for a hab module. Again, three Kerbins up here, a pilot, an engineer, and a scientist, and we're going to rotate through all three of them landing on the moon. There's also probe cores on both ships, so... That makes it easy as well. Uh, even if it's not a pilot, you can command the thing from, well, the Kerbal Space Center. There you go. You can see the lights. I turned that thingy on. Um, but yes, three Kerbals and enough hab space for four and plenty of food, water, and supplies and whatnot. Uh, I think at the moon, there's 17 or 18 different biomes. We've now visited, well, after this, we will have visited two of them. I think we're going to... Um, the plan with this, I, could, I thought of setting this up with a science module on board, but I don't have any other scientists. There's none popping up in the astronaut complex. Everybody there is pilots and engineers, which we might have to play with that to get more scientists because of future things. But regardless, the plan is to send them down to the surface, collect science at that biome, fly back up and dock, refuel, switch out pilots or switch out Kerbals and do it again. After we do this about six or seven times, we'll probably send a refueling mission out to this this mission here, which I don't have a name for yet, sadly. And then we'll fly it back to the Kerbal Space Station Dragon, which, by the way, I named that Dragon now. I don't know if I said that in anything previously yet. Um, a little bit in honor of SpaceX, kind of, a little bit. Um, but we'll send them back there, and we'll load the science up to the science module, the mobile processing lab there, to multiply the science we get back from the moon. We'll at least do that with a few biomes, probably about 10 or 12 of the biomes. After that, we might just return them to the surface of Kerbin, just for the instant quick payout. And here we are in a nice low orbit of the moon. So, uh, this is the lander we've sent. We're going to land here. Wow, that's a lot sharper with that mod. Uh, I kind of like it. And everything's not glitching, so that's a nice thing as well. Uh, although, now the question is, where are we going to land? Uh, this is Minmus. I want the moon, because there's way more biomes for the moon. As we can see here, there's, I think there's 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, there's 17 different biomes. We've landed here already in the east far side crater. We might try landing here in the northwest crater, although I'm not sure where that is as far as uh, daylight goes. Oh no, that's here. That's that's in night, so not a great place. Um, lander is over there, and the flag is over there. Okay, so we could land in this crater here, and we might. Yeah, why not? It's a good-sized crater. Not sure which crater it is, but it's a crater. 
Uh, yeah, let's do let's let's plan for that. So uh, we are gonna send Jeb across EVA style. Uh, quick saving, of course. Here we go, RCS. Um, and you are gonna need to go. Whoa, up, 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 up. Let's see, where is the hatch? No, oh, this way, this way. And down, and down. Ah, hatch is on top. Okay. Easy enough to get to, I think. Grab it. And board. So now we've got Jeb inside the lander can, which we can turn the lights on. Cool. Um, and we can send him, we can separate him and send him down. Uh, Alright, so now we're in control of this guy. Turn RCS on. It's got the little nozzles, so they don't do much, but it should be enough to, yeah, get us rotated around to do things like that. So let's face retrograde, because that's the direction we're going to go anyway. And let's add a maneuver about here-ish, say, to land there. We have just over 2,000 Delta V. Oh, right. Um, we do want to uh, activate that engine, of course. There we go. We have a little over 2,000 Delta V, so that should be enough to do what we need to do. At least I hope it is. So let's just pull you down just so that we just slip into the corner of this crater here. And even that took 60 Delta V, so this is going to be... A little costly, maybe. Uh, that's good. That's a little tight. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, most of that change came with the inclination change. Uh, planet is going to rotate underneath us a bit. So we'll give it just a little more. Yeah, that should do just fine. We'll definitely come in nice and low over that crater and be able to kill more velocity as we're there. Although I want to do more of it here. Yeah, that should do. That's coming up in eight minutes. Execute that burn. Go, Jeb, go. So it's, oh yeah, we're gonna actually burn down and away. So we'll land, do some science, and eventually come back to this guy. And we'll rotate through the different guys. I'll do a bunch of these off camera. Uh, maybe just do a quick little montage slideshow of things. Uh, to show that, but th there's, like I said, 17 different biomes. We've been to one. This will be two. So lots of biomes to hit, lots of science to collect, and then return to the space station for processing. All right, there we go. And yes, this apparently has fixed the glitching, stuttering garbage that was happening. Uh, again, I already recorded this once, but, well, I didn't record it because, uh, uh, oh, what's it called? O OMB? OBS. OBS was not uh, being helpful. It, it didn't record it. It was stuck at the launch. It recorded my mouse movements, but it was stuck with the uh, space center and the runway and stuff. So that was kind of obnoxious. Orbit. Uh, I'm sorry, surface. And we're going to point retrograde because we're going to come down soon. Oh, let's go ahead and put the gear down. Yeah, it must have been a surface issue with with the, the surfaces. Hopefully when we get lower and ground scatter appears and whatnot, it, it doesn't get... Uncooperative. Okay, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you, but I will take you. Okay, where are we? We're there, okay. Ooh, that's going to be awkward to correct inclination. Eh. I could honestly get this guy into orbit and then fly the station to this guy. Oh, and I think that's the crater. Yeah, that's the crater we want to land in. Okay, so let's go ahead and kill that. Yes, yes, yes. I think that's pretty good looking. Uh, let's get a little more over it. Okay, and let's start killing our velocity. This is doing... Yeah, shrinking the arc nicely. Hopefully we'll land somewhere somewhat level. Ooh. We're just going to kill it down to about, oh, about 100 meters per second or so. Kind 
Come on, come on, come on. Yes, this is much more satisfying. The last time I played this through, the, the, the footage that disappeared, this burn that took us here about, what, 15 seconds? Took about three to five minutes because the game kept pausing and it would hang up and it just, the noise stayed on. The it was It was really, really frustrating. So this is much more satisfying to have it um, to have it working now. All right, so let's go ahead and warp down just a little bit. Okay, we're at a little under five kilometers. That's fine. Three kilometers, two and a half. Kill some more of our speed. Yeah, and this delta V margin feels much more satisfying and comfortable. All right, yeah, we'll kind of hopefully land outside of this crater. I like this visual, this visual mode. It's, it's, the, the plant, the, the moon is pretty. All right, so we are, yep, 500 meters up. So we'll just come down to a nice, casual, slow burn. Um, where is, aha, there is my shadow. That's what you want. Ooh, okay, so we, we slowed ourselves down a lot. A lot more than we needed to. Yes, I feel much more comfortable with this Delta V uh, uh, margin. Uh, the last time I played this with, again, those horrible stoppages, it was at, like, I had just a thousand. So here we should be, this is much, like I said, much more comfortable. Alright, we're just gonna drift on down nice and smooth like. Boop! Perhaps a little bouncy, but not bad landing, all things considered. We can turn that off. So we aren't burning through the electricity we have. And we have food and water to last us, what, a couple days? 44 days. Tons of stuff. Oh, cool. Interesting. It shows all of them together. I find that very interesting. We should almost rename this, shouldn't we? Uh, rename vessel. You are a lander. Moon. Lander box except there we go good and now does it show that in here yeah it does that's cool all right so jeb has reached the surface and we're yeah like i said that's a much more comfortable margin uh from what i had before and what i've done in the past so i am happy with this little lander here it actually looks kind of spidery like the actual you know the limb lander from uh the apollo missions or at least i think so Oh yeah, what's, I've never looked at this with this. Uh, is that what it looks like? Jeb looks oh so thrilled sitting in there. We get him from the back. That's cool looking. I love the interior overlays. I think that's a really nice addition. So, uh, oh right, we're here. Duh. Uh, let's science the crap out of this. As Mark Watney said. I think he said something else actually. So just seven, is that it? What can I do? I've already done a crew report. Okay, so we'll keep... Keep... <laughs> As you look away, one symbol makes a run for it. Goo seems to be less dense here. Hmm. Yeah, again, material study. So, hmm. Fluctuates. <laughs> Alright, so there's a bunch of science there. Uh, we'll obviously collect this and then transfer it into the pod on the ship. And use the scientist to reset it all. And land again. So Jeb, let's have you EVA, and it's going to give us the EVA report and the surface sample, which is the big money one here. Boom. And then, of course, uh, we are going to just climb down. Oh, nice. Oh, no. You can probably jump and do a backflip. Okay, Jeb, that was kind of fun. That was actually kind of entertaining. Um Let's just go over this way so we get the sun in the foreground. So the sun's, you know, that way. Eek. Ooh, thunk. Harder landing than I wanted to make. I'm sorry, Jeb. I really am. Come on. On your feet, buddy. All right. Oh, look at me. Walk. Oh, right. I need you to face that way. And plant a flag. Yeah, I think the moons, this this version of whatever the software is that lets the moon stuff do what it does, it's 
better. Oh, I don't know where I am, do I? Ah, Jeb. First landing. Where am I? Question mark. Okay. Yeah, I forgot to really denote where I am. Pity. Um, we are here, so we are in the East Crater. I can't edit this, can I? Where am I? I could. Oh, I can take it down? Okay, interesting. Ah, so now I can put the East Crater. Excellent. Yes, yes, East Crater. Jeb's Landing. East Crater. I made it. Oh, we can have him shouting. I made it. Kill caps locks. Yes. All right. So there we are. Jeb has reached the surface. All oh, right. In our new and improved lander can. We're just going to give this a moment so that I can take the screenshot of this as the video screenshot. Excellent. And I don't know how long this video has been, but we are going to... No, you know what? We're going to return Jeb to the ship just to see how that goes. Yeah, we'll do that in this video. It might be a bit longer than, than some other videos. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. board all right so let's toggle all these things shut because I don't want them open it just disturbs me it's the the visual of it uh, toggle those sensors good all right so then we can quick save we have completed a mission by planting a flag on the moon yay um, and those are almost constant missions that you can get again and again and again and always get rewards. And that was a pretty good reward. Um, yeah. Uh, we've got a decent amount of fuel. Modern propellant is only at half, which is the idea. I half-loaded these because otherwise the, the whole thing is really, really heavy. Uh, and it, we eat up some of the Delta V. So, let's see. We are here. There's that. We're going to wait until it comes around yeah we're gonna wait until it comes around till it's about here and then we'll launch uh, possibly into a higher orbit come on okay whoa yes yeah, so we'll launch into a higher orbit that's at an 18 kilometer orbit I believe so f5 T full throttle is not what I wanted to do but that's okay we can give it some throttle and then we'll point ourselves eastward Orbits, target, orbits, there we go. Uh, eek, I don't have any of the things I need. I'll take those two for now, though. So I said, we'll get ourselves up to about a 22 kilometer apoapsis, uh, and then we will, uh, then we'll rendezvous. Yeah, this should be perfectly doable with fuel to spare. Well, we'll go for a 25. That's a nice round number, too. I'm, it's obviously an even number, or an odd number, but it's a pleasing number. Uh, mech jab, maneuver planner, circularize, at next, nope, apoapsis, create, and execute. 314, ah, pi. Close up the gear, and our electrical charge is nice and topped off. Those little bitty solar panels on the side are apparently enough. Aha, there it is. There's the thing. So yeah, we are going to... Ooh, we're actually going to be pretty close to it. And... Ooh, oh, we might get an encounter right here. That's awesome. The, I usually suck at this. So if this works out nicely, I'm going to be really, really surprised and pleased with myself. I think it was really just kind of luck that made it happen. Um, 
Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, come on. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Okay. Uh, home and transfer to target? Create node? Jesus, yeah. Uh, but that's in two days. No, 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 no. Um, let's remove all nodes. How about if we find... Where'd it go? There it is. Fine-tune closest approach. Create the node. And that's now. Ex execute. So we'll do a few, this will be a few burns to kind of get us close, something like this, closer to that. And then once we get there, we'll just have to, our, our inclination to match. Totally doable. Totally doable. Uh, so we've got that. Now we can actually do it again. <laughs> and, and fine tune things down even better. All right, beautiful. So we're going to get really close in about three minutes. Um, so again, I'm really surprised that this is going to work out as well as it is. So let's point you that way. Um, and we'll quick save because this is going to be an easy thing to muck up. We're going to warp here just two minutes into the future. But there she is. We're going to come pretty close. So, I mean, point... With 100, 100 meters. So we'll start killing our relative velocity. Which is, again, this is basically changing the inclination. Oh, that's scary. Oh, but we're still in an orbit. Cool. Um, so now we need to point... Sorry. Toward the object. And thrust toward it. There we go. And I think we pull the... Yes, we pull the prograde marker, so that's awesome. Whoa! <laughs> I pressed C very much by accident. Okay, now let's kill our relative, because we're going to shoot right past. Oopsie. Okay, good. And now we're in a place where we can maneuver around to, to get to it. Uh, R. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. And now it's just kind of, okay, what does what? And again, these are little thrusters, but it should be doable. Okay, so that might be helpful. Ooh, actually. <laughs> that's, that's lined up to where we should almost strike the vehicle. Uh, we're going to set that as target, though. I gotta come up with a better name for this vessel too. Okay, let's uh, time warp a little bit because we're moving pretty slow. Oh, we got wow, nice circular orbit right next to this guy though. Okay, so let's not run into it because that would be embarrassing. Yeah, let's face that way so that we are lined up with the docking port. Um, we need to go away still before we hit it. I am I am kind of mucking this up a bit, and I do apologize. I took this a little too quickly. All right, so we don't need to be perfectly oriented as long as we are kind of pointing at the node there. There we go. So we can stop that motion. Stop going that way. Stop going that way. Stop going that way. Okay, stop going that way. We really need to just translate ourselves into position now. Nope, not that one. I want that one. And that one. So these two. Sorry, concentrating, focusing, not talking. I apologize. Actually, this is going to line up fairly well. In a moment, it should. Come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Ah, ha, ha, ha! Did it! Woo! That actually came up together a little better than I thought it would. 
Alright, so we've got those guys docked back together again. And uh, the beautiful thing about this is we can take a bunch of the fuel. There's thousands of units of fuel in here and only hundreds of units in here. We can take fuel, refuel, and do it all again and send something out to refuel this guy. So I think that's the plan. Oh yeah, and we never did extend to this because it's a cool antenna. I like it. I don't need it, but I like it. Anyway, yeah, so there we are. We're gonna. So I'm going to do this a few times off camera because it's the same thing again and again and again and again and again. But this is a nice way to get your science for the moon. Um, I mean, we have a bunch of science still in the bank that I just haven't spent yet because I don't really have immediate plans for it. But we can do a bunch of science here and then we can take it back to the uh, Dragon Space Station at Kerbin. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you like, hit like, hit subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, pass the word. I will catch you later.